Now let's understand what is the use of use imperative handle hook in the React application. Use imperative handle is used with the use reference or you can say with reference. And as you know, the reference is just a way to control the DOM element in the React. In the previous examples, we understand how we can use use ref. The use imperative handle is lets you to modify the reference instance that is exposed from parent component when using use reference or you can say when using reference. The use imperative handle syntax something look like this. It's going to take reference as a first argument, create handle as a second argument and dependencies as a third argument. This reference is used to pass down from parent component. Then we have create handle. This argument is the value to be exposed to the parent component. Then we have the dependencies, the array of value that causes the hook to rerun when changes. So whenever the dependency change, it's going to execute this create handle. Now let's understand how we can use this hook in the React application. Instead of accessing element via vanilla JavaScript, we instead use use reference so that we can ensure the React has control over this element. In React, we can pass reference to other components using higher order component. This is what we call forward reference. For example, let's say you have an element that you need to track whenever it gets click on. In that case, you could use use imperative handle hook. You could use use imperative handle to override the native click event to do this. Let me show you a very simple example of it. I'm going to first import the React and inside an object, I'm going to import user ref, use imperative handle and forward reference. And I'm using all these hooks inside this example. Just are that right down here, I'm going to say constant input ref is equal to user. Ref. And just are that inside this division tag right down here, I'm going to call my child component. So let me just create that child component right down here. I'm going to say constant child is equal to and then I'm going to pass my function here. And just out of that, I'm going to say here constant input is equal to use ref. And then inside the child component, I'm going to return a division tag. And inside that div, I'm going to say input type text. Then I'm going to call here reference. And for the reference, I'm going to pass this input this one just out of that if you want to specify any property to this input element you can pass that property right to this child and then you can pass your properties from the parent component so inside this i can simply pass props and ref you can see how we specify the second parameter using this ref we are going to reference this input text box so whenever we click on this input text box i want to execute a function inside this parent component let me show you that later just for now, I'm going to pass this reference and inside this right here to this input, I'm going to pass all the properties. So I'm going to spread all the properties here using spread operator. I'm going to say here props, something like this. And let me specify placeholder here. Placeholder is going to be type here. So this is a very simple input text box. Just after that, let me call this child inside my parent component right here. Let me save the changes. You can see I'm going to have this input type text here. Now, what I want when I click on this input text box, I want to execute a callback function. But instead of adding any event inside this child, I want to get an event from this parent component and reference my input text box using this user. So, what I'm simply going to do is right here, I'm going to say on focus is equal to and then pass here curly braces. And inside this, I'm simply going to call the callback function. And here I'm going to say input ref dot current dot focus. Just after that, I'm going to specify the second property with ref equal to, and inside this, I'm going to pass here input. So both these properties are now passed to this input text box because we already specify here props. You can notice using this spread operator, we pass all the properties to this input text box from the parent component. So now this is not going to do anything. It's going to return an error message. Cannot read property of now. Because right now, this property is now. Because this is not going to reference any input text box. Now, what I want, I want to reference the child component input text box from this parent component. So, what I'm going to do is I can use here use imperative handle hook. So, right down here inside this child, I can specify use imperative handle as a first argument we need to specify the reference so we call here ref this property and as you know to this property 
we have here input ref this one so this is going to initialize this reference as this input text box to start that as a second argument you call the callback function so i'm going to pass here a callback function something like this and then what i have to do is i have to return something from this function so instead of curly braces i'm going to pass here parentheses and inside that i'm going to call curly braces and then i'm going to call a property which is focus colon call the callback function and then i'm going to say console.log input is in focus let me save the changes and you're going to get an error inside your console when you scroll up you can notice you're going to have this warning function components cannot be given reference attempt to access this reference will fail do you mean to use react forward ref so this warning is says that we need to use forward ref to access the child's input inside the parent component forward ref is nothing but a simple helper function of react so as i said in react we can pass reference to other component using higher order components and for that we are using forward reference so what you have to do is i'm going to grab this component inside this forward ref so at the top we already have this forward ref imported at the top so i'm just going to say here forward ref and inside this parenthesis i'm going to put my function reload my browser and now you're not going to get any error and now if i click on this type here you can see i'm going to get here console message input is in focus so this use imperative handle is going to reference to this parent component events so whenever the event happen in the parent component this hook is going to execute this callback function and then if you want to specify any dependencies to this imperative hook then you can do that by passing a third argument to this function that's a module so this is the simple use of using use imperative handle in the react application let's talk about the next react hook 